Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 156 of Sarah Nova Crafts. I'm your host, Jessica. I can be found as Sarah Nova on Ravelry and Twitter, and as Sarah Nova Crafts on Instagram. Probably not going to be that many show notes for this episode. Um, I am going to try to edit it, unlike the previous episode. I'm sorry if the lighting is crap. It's the end of the day. The sun has gone down. I meant to record this morning, and that didn't happen. Um, but I wanted to get an episode out there, and something to say Happy New Year's. I'm still here. I'm still around. Um, I need to turn the TV off because it's muted, but the light is just not helping. Um, and then my lighting just got worse, but you know what, whatever. It's... It's a Friday, it's a late on a Friday afternoon, and I'm just done for the day. So, um, but I am going to Israel on Sunday, as in in less than 36 hours, I'm going to be on a plane. Um, my flight leaving New Hampshire is at 6 a.m. on Sunday, and my fight, flight leaving the U.S. is at 1.15 p.m. on Sunday. So I have to get from New Hampshire to Newark, New Jersey, and then I gotta go meet up with my group at 9.15 a.m., and then we're all gonna check in together and go through security together and all that jazz. So they've left us like four hours to do all that. Um, sorry, I have something in my eye. It's probably cat hair. Um, they've left us like four hours to do all that before our plane arrives. So, um, getting ready to go. I have like all this packing I need to do. I was going to borrow a suitcase. Now I'm not borrowing a suitcase. Um, I was going to borrow some like converter adapter equipment and now I'm not. I just bought my own because I'm like, you know what? It's just good to have. Um, and I just, I'm a little scattered right now. Um, it's just, yeah. But um, I am going to try to vlog a lot of my trip. Um, so I made a channel just for this trip on YouTube. I will link it, um, or I'll put it on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, something. I'll, there, there'll be a way that you'll be able to find it. I'm calling it Sarah Nova in Israel because I go by Sarah Nova and I'm gonna be in Israel, so inventive channel title is inventive. I, I don't know, it's, it's silly. Um, I did buy a whole bunch of these just like plain colored t-shirts to bring with me because I didn't want to bring anything that had too much logo-y stuff on it. Um, and I also just needed some new plain color t-shirts because the cats keep putting holes in them. So, you know. Um, but the thing you were probably all wondering about, the sweater. Did I finish it? And in fact, I did. Um, I finished the sweater. I finished the knitting on the sweater New Year's Eve. It was like 8.30 p.m. I finished it. Um, I blocked it, not New Year's Day, I blocked it on the 2nd, so today's the 4th, right? Blocked it the 2nd, um, and I have cat hair on my hand, um, blocked it on the 2nd, and when I say blocked it on the 2nd, I mean I blocked it that night, as in at like 8.30 p.m. Uh, I soaked it, I got, I got some lavender eucalyn, so it smells like lavender, um, and, uh, uh, and I laid it out to dry. It took until last night to fully dry. Uh, that's understood. It's cold. It's winter. Humidity is weird. Kevin's like, oh, just put it downstairs with the dehumidifier. But I'm like, Kevin, it's 55 degrees downstairs. Even with the dehumidifier running, I'm not sure that's going to help. So what I did was I put it in our bedroom on the floor with like a box fan blowing on it. And that worked beautifully. In 24 hours, it was dry. That's fine. As long as it was dry by like, you know, today so I could put buttons on. So I haven't quite finished the buttons, but I have four of the eight buttons on. And colors are going to be off on this, I'm sorry. If you've seen my Instagram, you have seen what color this actually is. Um, holding it up to the camera does absolutely nothing because it's too dark because I'm backlit. Because we have no light on that side of the living room because that's where the TV is and there's no light over there. But I'm sitting on the couch. So anyways. <sighs> <laughs> Can you tell I'm scattered? Um, but I have four, so it calls for eight buttons, and there are eight buttonholes, so I have four done. But here it is. It is finished. All the ends are woven in. Um, the only thing I have left to do is weave in the ends from the buttons, because, you know, as I go, I'm generating ends from those. But um, I am backing the buttons with just, like, some plastic ones. So I got some, um, I got some nice wooden buttons to go on the front of the sweater, and then I'm backing them with just these, um, these cheapo plastic ones. But it, but here's the thing, um, and this is something I learned from my mom who did sewing, because you do the same thing when you sew a garment that you button, um, that isn't like jeans, you know, if you're doing like a nice blouse or button down shirt or something, you back the button with another smaller button, and that helps prevent the pulling on the fabric so you don't get these puckers, um, and it also helps the buttons last longer because they're not going through like a single point on the back. They're going through, you know. So I have four hole buttons and I made sure I got two four hole buttons. So, um, 
So I have the um, so I have the wooden button on the front, which is what you're going to see, and then on the back is the white button. And so that um, and so that is what I'm using. Um, these buttons I got, the wooden buttons are a smidge bigger than what the pattern said. So I'm having a little bit of trouble fitting them through the through the buttonholes because they're like just yarn over buttonholes. I don't feel like I'm giving away too much of the pattern. Um, but I figure the yarn will stretch over time and like this one I left it sitting all day and it's already a little bigger. But it also makes it really secure because it's like hard to come undone. So I'm happy with that. So once I'm done recording, I'm going to go iron patches onto my jeans to fix a pair of jeans I want to take with me because they ripped. And then I'm going to finish the buttons and then I'm probably going to have like ravioli for dinner because that's my favorite food and I want comfort food before I go on a trip because I haven't been on a plane in two years. No, three years? I think the last time I flew was, was before I started working at Tivana. So I think it was 2015 was the last time I flew because I was actually working at Amazon and I went to Florida for my birthday that year and I worked on Amazon in 2015. Well, I was a contractor. I wasn't really working for Amazon. I was a contractor working for corporate Amazon. But anyways, um, so now my goal is by tomorrow night, can I finish a hat made out of the same yarn as the sweater? Um, probably. I mean, I'm halfway done already. I don't want it to be too, too slouchy, but, you know, just slouchy enough. Um, you know, just something. I'm probably going to go another, you know, three or four inches on the hat and then do the decreases and then that'll be it. So if I manage to keep myself together, I can probably finish this tonight because I did all of this in one night, basically. Well, I, I, like up to like, you know, here. I did in like one night. I did like, I did this like, I cast off the sweater and immediately cast this on. And I did all this by like, you know, 2 a.m. on New Year's Day. So um, I am enthused, I am uh, hopeful in my chances of finishing the matching hat. And that still leaves me with like five skeins of yarn so I can totally make another sweater out of this yarn. I have to figure out what though, because Farmhouse Cardigan is written for like a worsted Iran weight and this is more like a light worsted so I'm actually gonna look to see what there are for like DK sweaters. Um, DK light worsted and see if I have enough yardage for something in my size in one of those. I have four full skeins and some partials um, but the partials work out to like what I'm gonna have left of the partials once I'm done sewing the buttons on and doing the hat is about I've used about half the yarn to make one sweater. So I will have half the yarn left so I will have five skeins so hopefully five skeins of a light worsted is enough to make myself another sweater. Considering I did this sweater on five well four and a half and then the other half. So Fingers crossed, <laughs> that should work. Um, in case you're wondering about the other knitting, I did finish the socks I was working on. So the last time I showed you these, they were, oh, and this got tangled. Lovely, that's what it gets for living in my bag. Give me just a moment here to untangle. There we go, all right. So last time I showed you guys these socks, they were here, that's where more marker is. I hadn't finished them yet. I hadn't finished the first sock yet, so I finished the first sock, and I started the second sock. Confetti, hey, hey, stop it, stop it. I have bags of stuff I'm taking on my trip because I had to get stuff like, I got like, um, like melatonin so I can sleep on the plane because I normally don't sleep on planes. Um, so I got melatonin to help me sleep on the plane. And then I got like airborne and I also got like, you know, a travel, um, toiletry case so that all my toiletries, instead of just floating around my suitcase, they're like in a case because I didn't have one because normally I'm just flying to Florida or I'm driving to Canada so I just throw crap in my car or I throw crap in my suitcase because it's three and a half hours to Florida. This is a 14 hour flight from Newark, New Jersey to Tel Aviv, Israel. So stuff needs to be a bit better packed <laughs> than just, you know, hawking it in the suitcase. Um, so, you know, I got stuff um, and I got like new pajamas because all my pajamas are actually kind of ratty and old. And I know Kevin doesn't care, but like I'm going to be with people that I've never met before. So I want my pajamas to look nice. So <laughs> I know it's weird. Just, yeah. I found a nice like Hogwarts shirt to wear as my pajama top and I have like knit print pants. So, you know, I made an outfit. Um, but anyways, yeah, the cat was futzing in my bags of stuff. I need to do something. But anyways, so I've done this much on the second sock. So this is this. Um, I will actually move this now from the finished sock to the unfinished sock because I finally showed you guys. Um, so who knows? I might actually manage to work on a... Uh, I actually managed to record a podcast episode while I'm in Israel. 
Who knows? We'll see. If I get some free time in the hotel room one night, I might record and upload. Um, it would be like way, way off timing wise for, you know, um, cause Israel's seven hours off. But you know, if you follow me on social media, you will be able to see photos. I'm going to be posting photos, um, just publicly on Instagram and Twitter. Um, Facebook, I don't have, well, most of the people who follow me, I actually know personally. So, you know, y'all probably have me on Facebook, but if you don't actually know me in person and I'm not friends with you on Facebook, you will in fact be able to see the same pictures on Instagram and Twitter. I think that is everything. I have ranted for 11 minutes. Hopefully this makes some coherent sense. One last thing I'm going to show you before I go is Kev was Kevin's Christmas present to me. Got me a bunch of small things for Hanukkah. He's like, well, I want to get you a big present. I'm like, you don't have to. He's like, I want to get you a big present. So he got me a big present. Got me a full Chowgu interchangeable set. So I'm actually using one of the needles. I'm actually using the US size eight for the hat right now. Um, but it got me a full interchangeable set. So it's the small and the large. So this goes from a US two, US two, all the way up to US 15. Look at that size difference between the two and the 15. I mean, look at that. That's like, yeah, two, 15. Yeah. So it goes that whole gamut. Um, it doesn't have a one, which sucks because that's what I like for socks, but I have enough US ones in Chagos because Chagos are like my favorite needles. The zipper does not like me. Um, Chagos are like my ultimate favorite needles. So I have a slew of just um, fixed circulars. Um, so anyways, that is it. Again, I've ranted for now almost 12 minutes. <laughs> I'm hopefully going to edit this, at least put in my intro and my outro and give this an episode title. And um, yeah, next time you see me, I will be in Israel. So, all right, have a good one.